Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the GSAP scroll trigger animation. Now if you know this is the website and uh, if you see just I scroll down below the section right section slides from the right and uh, this comes from scale 0 to scale 1. Now you see if I scroll in and scroll up you can check the animation is reversing and uh, proceeding forward the same way just get down and these are the step these are the things which we are going to create now for the understanding I have used the demo theme so this is the demo theme which you can get it from the bootstrap it's using bootstrap 5 let's let's try with the bootstrap 5 theme Le now this is the static theme it doesn't work as we see or else let's download the bootstrap theme download bootstrap theme free fine I somehow managed to get the code for banner and the code for the service section like left and right section and followed by the thumbnail section so this is downloaded uh, I have not downloaded it I just uh, got into the bootstrap default theme and uh, just remove some of the code and uh, for your reference so this is the uh, documentation for bootstrap 4 so this is the link just get this get into the link and uh, copy paste the code and uh, start with me and uh, to follow along I leave the required JS files in the description so that we can start now you see this is the HTML don't worry about it I'll explain it and uh, let's link the script tag for us script src equal to and we'll name it as gsap hyphen animation dot js create a new file save it and call it as gsap .js. now this is working and uh, we need to use two more cdn so that's really very simple get the cdn from the official gsap documentation and just add these at the bottom of the html so it is recommended to be to add the js or the cdn at the bottom so we did as we wanted cool the next thing we need to get into the animation and uh, if you notice this animation what I have shown you will only be applied to the desktop for the mobile screen it would be straight and simple so it's flat design for mobile so if you see this is a mobile view and uh, there is no animation for this fine so how I have achieved it I have achieved it with the help of JavaScript so the script is going to be applied only to the screen size which is above 100 pixel you can see so this is a function uh, this function will run only when the screen size is above 100 pixel so this is the function my fine my function gsap I leave the link in the description and I have registered the scroll trigger fine now just to start with our work let's change the title fine we we'll leave the heading image as it is so we we'll limit we'll leave the heavy heading as it is now what we need is we need to work on the bottom part so we'll start working over here work start working from this section so on page load this is going to remain same but if I go below the 500 pixel mark so this is the whole section let's try to get the length so this is the div let's give the ID as banner section copy this and have it on the so this is the banner section once we cross the banner section like starting from here it is 0 and uh, starting from 0 if I 
move just below 200 pixel I want to make this section visible so let's give this section so this is banner section and then we have the service section let's give the ID service and let's get this on the notepad so that we don't have to revisit again now for the JavaScript work what we need is we need to get fine for the JavaScript let me explain you the code so this is the section which we want to animate or uh, the animation need to be applied on the div with ID service and it should start from wipe from the bottom 300 pixel and it should be opacity 0 and it should once the animation ends it need to be y of 0 and opacity 1 and the animation duration should be 2 second two, 2 seconds and then we have this scro scroll trigger and uh, this scroll trigger should start once we are on the first div which is the banner section once we are on the banner section the start position is let's say 500 if it is 500 it is 500 pixel from top let me make this 200 if we if the scroll the scroll bar gets the 200 pixel mark gets the 200 pixel mark I want this to be this to start animate that's the reason why I've added this and uh, if you need the scroll to restart on scroll up and scroll down scroll up and scroll down you need to add the restart option with the this is the value and for the property toggle action so once we write restart so there is the option we need to give scrub so on top and down I want the animation to be smooth of two seconds so if you want I leave the link for the scroll trigger in the description now let's try the gsap work if there is no error it should work let's get it to the inspect and check whether we have a error or not unexpected end of input so that means we have missed the semicolon not the semicolon but the curly brace so this is if this is for the function and we have missed one for the if, for if block fine now refresh it so you can see the bottom part got disappeared if I scroll down it doesn't show up at all let me see why my bad it was the mistake you see and dot and uh, so if you see if I scroll down it is showing from 0 to 1 and it is getting down so let's make the opacity of starting from 0 0.7 and then 0 0.1 refresh it so if I scroll down and this is coming from 0 to up now I don't this way I want let's uh, separate these two IDs Sir one and let this be sir two. So for sir one service dot sir one, I want the x axis and let's change the x axis and show you. it should start from minus if you see here and you got it the same way for sir2 I want from right to left
so actually this whole section this ID should come for the banner so this is actually the banner so if I refresh let me show you what I have made I have commented this the second one just to see whether it is actually working or not just refresh this and start and cool the same way we'll do this and comment this again this is going to start when the banner position is zero when the top when the top position starts you see if you want the animation to start delay what you can do is I want the animation to start once the scroll bar of top reaches 20 pixel from the banner now you got the idea so the first section is done now let's work on the second section you can make this scale up and scale down so give the id heading copy the whole section and this is going to be for the id heading and it should come from let's say bottom and uh, once it is on the service div and if it is and it is above 500 pixel then show it now let's start cool you got it instead of 500 I'll make this 200 cool now this what we can do is we can show this one by one so let's give the class to each div so this is card let's select card select all and this is for the card it also need to come from bottom and it should start once the same way as of the heading refresh this and I want this to come one by one what we can do is we have an option called stagger hold on one second since three of them have the same class so it is applied one second to this one second to this and one second to this that's the meaning of stagger that's the So now you see it is coming one by one. One, two, three, uh, one second each, one second is giving to all. So I think the scope of this video is done. Thank you so much for listening.